Hey guys, Danny here with another LEGO Star Wars review for you. So today we have the 6212 X-Wing Fighter. So this set came out in the year 2006. It contains 437 pieces and when the set came out originally it cost $50. Okay guys, so first of all, before I get into the review, uh, let me just talk about a few things. Uh, first of all, you do not actually see this set in my uh, LEGO Star Wars collection video. And the reason being is that I have a lot of sets that are broken or they have all the pieces but they're just broken. So I took some time uh, to assemble this set and uh, here it is. And uh, if you guys want to check out my LEGO Star Wars collection, I will post the link to that video below. And in that video I talk about, there's a little like, uh, I have a little section where I talk about um, sets that are, that are broken but I'm in the process of rebuilding. And speaking of that as well guys, I'm very uh, close to finishing uh, reviewing all the sets that are in my collection. And soon, and I know I've been saying this soon, I'm going to start reviewing some newer sets that have come out. Like, you know, sets from Rogue One, Force Awakens, whatever. I'm going to really just blow up this whole collection for you guys. So anyway, that's that. And also, let me just say that this is the fourth out of seven X-Wings that have come out. Um, I will be posting pictures of all the X-Wings along with the date that, that they were released so you guys can see. Okay, so as you guys saw, um, a lot of different X-Wings uh, have come out, and X-Wings are actually very interesting. Uh, that very first X-Wing that I showed you that came out in the year 1999, that was the first X-Wing that, I'm sorry, that was the first LEGO set that Star Wars ever made. Uh, not only that, there's two Ultimate Collector Series uh, X-Wings, and that's very rare for LEGO sets. You usually, like, LEGO sets make one Ultimate Collector Series model, and that's it. You know, I mean, the only set I can think of where they have... Um, Two Ultimate Collector series made, I would say, are like uh, the Sandcrawler, where they made one in like the year 2004, then they made one in the year, uh, then they made another one that came out much later, and both of those sets are considered uh, UCS, and um, also the Death Star as well. I have reviewed the Death Star 10143 was a set number, and that set was a UCS, and now they made a new one. So it's usually very rare that Lego makes two Ultimate Collector series sets, but. But yeah guys, definitely pretty cool, and I, since I mentioned uh, these sets, uh, the Death Star and the Sandcrawler, I, I have reviewed those sets, so if you guys want to check it out, I will put in the link below. Um, so yeah guys, let's just get on to the review. So, first of all, we do get six minifigures. Here we get Luke Skywalker. Here we have Princess Leia. Here we have Chewbacca. Here's Han Solo. So I don't know why we get uh, Leia, Han, and Chewie. And if you take a look, Leia and Han, they're wearing like their Hoth outfit. This is gear that they, um, that they wore in Episode 5. So I'm not exactly sure why you get these minifigures. I mean... It would make more sense if you just came with Luke and uh, an X-Wing pilot, but, you know, it's not a big deal for me. And it's actually pretty cool that you get these minifigures, so great touch by Lego. Okay, so like I said, you do get Luke Skywalker and you do get another Rebel pilot, and I will show you him. Put his helmet back on. There you go. So here, guys, is Wedge Antilles. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Wedge Antilles is exclusive to this set. So that's another thing that makes this set really cool. Here's a look inside of the cockpit. We have the, that famous uh, Death Star trench here. Here we have R2-D2 as well. So definitely pretty cool. And let me just mention one more thing guys uh, before I get into the review. Um, I do have the 4502 X-Wing that I posted earlier. 
I do have that set. However, that set, uh, just like this one was, um, that set is broken and I need to rebuild it. So I will get on to doing that, guys. So, you know, stay tuned for that video coming out soon. But anyway, let's get on to the X-Wing. So as you guys saw, uh, you do have the opening cockpit feature. Here's a spot so you can put uh, R2-D2. Uh, one cool thing about this set as well is, as you guys can see, there's one, two, three reds here, and there's three reds here. And uh, you have this piece that has five reds, and this piece is actually not supposed to be here. I just leave it on here so that it can stay. And um, one of the cool things is we have red three and red five. And what this is meant to symbolize is, if you guys know anything about Star Wars, Wedge's squadron number was red three. And Luke's squadron number was red 5. So you do have that option of changing pilots. And not only that, you can remove these pieces. And if you choose, you can put this one on or, you know, whatever you like. So that's a really cool touch by LEGO. I, I like it. It's just very creative on, on their end. So LEGO did a great job. Um, you also do have a landing gear here. And, you know, you can fold it up. And now the ship is in flight mode. So that's pretty neat. We also have a little storage spot here. And let me just flip this around. So here we have a little storage compartment here. And this is a great spot to leave, you know, Luke's lightsaber. Or maybe you could leave uh, these pieces in here if you'd like. And um, here, let's just put one. You can put it in there. Oops. And you can close it up. So that's a cool feature by Lego. How we have some storage space. Okay. Set looks very good, guys. It looks uh, very, very movie accurate. I think LEGO did a great job uh, with this set. There's a lot of different X-Wings that I want to pick up. I really want to pick up the two Ultimate Collector Series ones. Um, I might pick up that 1999 one as well. You know, there have been seven different X-Wings, and a lot of them look very cool. So, you know, once I start really blowing up this collection, I'll be sure to get some of those sets. But anyway, guys, here's a look at the back. Here we have the four engines, and here we have the wings. And let me explain how the wings work. So as you guys can see, we have some rubber bands here. There's actually two rubber bands here, two rubber bands here. And in the front, there's one rubber band here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And there's one rubber band here as well. So that's a total of six rubber bands. And um, the way this works is without these rubber bands, these wings, these bottom wings would just uh, fall down on the floor. But what these rubber bands do, they basically hold the wing and when you spin this knob around, it, it, there's, uh, it opens the wings up in a way that it keeps them stabilized. And I'll show you how that works, and it's very cool. But first of all, let me just point out to you guys, this set is so old, it's been sitting on my shelf for such a long time, that these rubber bands are a little bit worn out. And as you guys can see, this bottom wing is a little loose. Ideally, it should be like, you know, nice and tight like this, or the rubber band should really be holding onto it. But, you know, obviously a set gets older and older, so... It makes sense, but you know, the rubber bands do a decent job. So let's get right onto it. So I'm gonna spin this to the right. And as you guys can see, the wings start to open up. And we have this little knob here that opens up as we, or closes as you spin the lever. So that's a really cool mechanism by Lego. Now let's put the landing gear up or it broke <laughs> and here we have it here we have the x-wing in attack position so great job by lego lego did a great job with this set like i said it looks very very movie accurate and uh you obviously do get some extra minifigures which is also a plus you do get one exclusive minifigure as well in the form of wedge antilles so LEGO did great with this set, guys. I, I would highly recommend you pick this set up. It's probably going to go for a lot of money on eBay or BrickLink, but it's a great set to your collection. It is a classic uh, LEGO Star Wars set. And I'm really glad I own it. And um, 
yeah guys that is pretty much it to this review i hope you guys enjoyed this review uh please stay tuned for more reviews coming on the way also i want to thank you all for um for 102 subscribers i cannot believe i am at 102 subscribers all you guys have been terrific i wouldn't be here without um without you guys and that being said uh you know i think i am going to do a something special for you guys since i'm at 100 subscribers so stay tuned for that but other than that guys stay tuned for more lego reviews coming out i'm going to finish reviewing all the sets that are in my collection and i'm also going to start buying some some newer sets you know just sets i don't have sets that are you know sets that are not for sale that i have to get on ebay or bricklink or sets that are you know on the lego side i'm really just gonna blow up this whole collection guys i'm, I'm back to reviewing lego star wars sets and yeah guys um again uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day